Hey basketball coaches, players, officials, and whoever else is watching today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can clean a basketball. So the other day the NFHS just released a guideline as to what we should be doing once the basketball season resumes, the high school basketball season resumes. And one of the things that they talk about in the massive book that they sent out was that they should be you should be cleaning a basketball as often as possible. So what I take from that is probably between quarters or even at timeouts, you might want to clean the basketball, but also you might be looking at also cleaning the basketball during practice consistently. So one of the things we're going to be doing today is how we can clean a leather basketball. So this is a Wilson Evolution. This is not a cheap basketball by any means. Up here in Canada, these things are like 70 to $80. So in my opinion, that's kind of an expensive basketball. So one of the things that you can do is get two uh, little buckets, okay? Get regular dish soap. You don't wanna use any bleaches or alcohols. Uh, that is generally going to be ruining the leather. So if you are a school that's maybe sponsored by Spalding or Wilson or whoever, and you're getting a ton of these basketballs, go for it, use the alcohol, use the, the Clorox or whatever, and and you can clean the basketball, it will be deteriorating, I can barely say that word, the leather uh, much faster. So keep that in mind. Um, all you're gonna need is dish soap. I'm using Dawn. If it's, uh, if it's good enough for ducks, it's good enough for a basketball. And um, that's what you're gonna be using. So you're gonna have two buckets. One bucket that has a little bit of Dawn or some kind of dish soap in it with water, with a cloth, and then you're gonna have a secondary bucket that has just water, that's it. You're gonna have two different cloths, one where you would have the cloth in the soaped mixture, and you're just gonna rub the basketball down, you're gonna get it totally wet and clean. Then you're going to go and get the cloth from the secondary bucket where it has just water, and then wipe it down again. So what that's going to do for you is the soap and water is going to kill the virus on the ball, and then, the water only bucket is going to get rid of all the excess soap on the ball. You don't want to keep that on the ball. It's not going to do too much to the leather. What that's going to really just do to the ball is just make it super sticky, which could be good for players, but uh, some players don't like that. Other players like myself love a sticky basketball because then you can palm it, which this one, my hands are sticky right now, but I can usually palm a ball. Anyways, and then you would have a third uh, cloth or towel, and this one's going to be totally dry. You might want to ha need to have more than one of these if you've got a lot of basketballs maybe in a practice, but now you're just going to dry it off. So what that's going to do for you, number one, it's not going to be a wet ball, so it's not going to be as slippery and gross to handle. But number two, you don't want to keep leather wet for too long. It does deteriorate. There's that word again. And then what you want to do also, why you want to uh, dry it off is because you're going to be obviously playing on a wood floor 99% uh, of the time. And uh, water and wood and the finish that's on the wood doesn't mix all that well. So that's that's why. So this is how I would be cleaning a basketball in between quarters and throughout the practice. Now I am going to be releasing another video very soon, probably tomorrow, that breaks down some of the suggestions and rules in that new pamphlet or book that they just released and sent out for the new COVID-19 um, Kind of rules so some of the rules are like i was mentioning cleaning off the basketball in between as much as often as you can and then they're also going to be saying to uh, use a lot of hand sanitizer between uh, quarters and as much as you can which will dry your hands out i don't know if you can see my hand but it's actually quite dry um, so I will be probably making a video for basketball players about how, how to deal with dry hands because that's going to happen and I've been fighting this, but it's getting better. And then I'm going to be uh, also talking about, uh, in that rule video that I will be talking about, uh, I will be breaking down how some of the new rules that are coming in, like you're allowed to wear face masks, but not face shields. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, I can't wait to use this basketball again. I don't use it outside. I uh, can't wait till the courts open back up up here in Canada. And I'll see you guys in my next video.